Hey, this is Dave Liu with Guns.com, and today we're looking at something kind of unique. This is a Caltech P50. This pistol holds 50 rounds of a high velocity pistol rifle hybrid. Interested? Now, the first thing I thought when I saw this gun is it looks like a Star Wars gun. It's something from the future, right? So, but immediately after that, I kind of thought, uh, is it going to be practical? What am I going to use it for? Then I shot it. And after that, I, I really didn't care about how I was going to use it because it was so freaking fun. Um, I mean, who cares? This is an awesome gun to shoot. Yeah, I think everyone needs to at least try this gun at some point in their life because it's, it's lightweight, low recoiling, and you, you can pull the trigger 50 times. What's not to like? Now, there are legit uses for this gun, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But basically, it shoots like a souped up 22 with a little bit more kick. But you know that downrange, this round has some real stopping capability. Now, personally, I imagine myself doing a little executive protection with this gun, hence the uh, getup. It was just Halloween, so I'm kind of embracing it. But yeah, it's super fun to shoot. You can play around with it. You can shoot it from the hip. Got to give it a try. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is the round. This is a 5.7 by 28 millimeter cartridge. It was designed by FN to replace the 9 millimeter round. Now this round did not win that specific contract, but eventually NATO has adopted this round. Now aesthetics wise, the round looks like a really a miniaturized 223. It's a bottleneck cartridge shooting a small caliber very, very fast. Now the Federal American Eagle ammo that I got shoots a 40 grain bullet about almost 2000 feet per second. In comparison, uh, a Federal American Eagle 9mm round is about 115 grains and goes about 1180 feet per second. So is it really better than 9mm? Not really, but it's just different. It has different characteristics. The advantages are you can fit more rounds into a magazine. It has better armor penetration. It's slightly more accurate and it's better at long range. Oh, it also has lower recoil than a 9mm. Really the biggest con to the round is it's a little bit expensive. Because it's not as ubiquitous as a 9mm, they don't produce it as much, so each round is a little bit more expensive than 9mm. Now the next unique feature of this gun is the magazine. This uses the FN P90 magazine. Now this magazine stores ammo in line with the barrel and the action. So it's right underneath, in this case, the barrel and the action. And it holds the rounds perpendicular to the axis of the bore. With the small diameter of the uh, 5.7 round, that allows 50 rounds to be packed into this small package. I also like the translucent nature of the magazine, so you can always see how many rounds you have left. My really only complaint is magazine changes might be a little bit difficult, and it's also sto difficult to store this magazine in any magazine pocket. But really, with 50 rounds, how many mag changes do you need? The gun mechanism itself is actually quite simple. It's a straight blowback design, much like a rimfire or pistol caliber carbine. There's actually not much that could go wrong. So the guts of the gun actually ride above the magazine. That's actually how they get a nine and a half inch barrel into an overall length package of only 15 inches. In addition, it's not all that heavy. For something so big, it's only three pounds unloaded. It also has a really decent three and a half pound trigger and rounding it out, it has an AR style T charging handle and AR style safety that's ambidextrous. It has a long Picatinny rail on top and a short section on the bottom for accessories. Finally, it has a threaded barrel for suppressors. Now accuracy and reliability, well, this is actually pretty boring. Super accurate, basically I got one whole group at uh, 20 yards and didn't have even one bobble of all the rounds I put through it. So accurate and reliable. Now, there are integrated iron sights on this gun, but with this Picatinny rail, I put on a hollow sun on it because this gun just begs for a red dot. Now, with the threaded barrel, I added my personal suppressor, which is a Dead Air Odessa. That's a nine millimeter can, and it ran perfectly with and without the can. One thing to note, 22 cans, a lot of them are also rated for 5.7, so you could probably put a uh, 22 can on this and it would run fine too. It also came with a sling and two QD spots, one here, and one at the bottom of the grip. I actually found that a really great way to carry the gun and to use it as a brace. Now there's lots of ways to shoot this gun. You can use a standard pistol two hand on the grip. Uh, you can use one hand on the grip, one hand on the forend. I actually liked using the sling. I found that the most stable where I'm pushing against the sling so that the sling acts as kind of a brace for myself. Now personally, I think a stock or a pistol brace would be really good on this gun. It would add a lot of stability to the shooting. Uh, both Caltech and the aftermarket have options where you can add a brace to it.
remember to check your local laws when you're adding a stock or brace. Coming back to the uses, uh, what it was this designed for? Well, I think this was a direct competitor to the FN P90. The P90 was designed as a personal defensive weapon, or PDW. Those guns were basically designed to give to support troops, troops in the back, or maybe pilots, so they would have something a little bit more powerful than a pistol to defend themselves if they came into harm's way. So another obvious role for this would be executive protection. I can totally see the Secret Service or someone similar carrying something like this, concealed under their suit jacket. Now, as a civilian, neither of these two uses really make you know, much sense for me. Uh, personally, I think a home defense gun, this would really shine. Uh, mostly because it's a lot easier to shoot, not only for you know adult males, but for almost anybody in your household. Uh, usually pistols, they're a little bit more difficult to shoot if you don't have a lot of training. And rifles sometimes might be a little bit too heavy for people of smaller stature. So I think uh, this is a nice compromise between the two. With a uh, pistol stabilizer or a stock, I could totally see this as a small game hunting. Uh, with the accuracy of it, it would be uh, a no-brainer. All right, so in conclusion, I really like this little guy. Um, again, mostly because it's just freaking fun. Yes, there are some legit uses for it, but it's so cool, so neat. Go out and just give it a try. See if you can borrow one or rent one at a range and give it a try. I'm pretty sure you'll, uh, you'll like it. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to go to guns.com for this gun and all your other uh, shooting and firearms needs. <laughs>